Hello, this is Joe from Fuji Electric, and in this video we will be going through the hardware and software setup of a V9 series HMI with an Allen Bradley MicroLogic series PLC using both serial and Ethernet. In this case we will be using a MicroLogix 1400, but the same instructions apply to the rest of the MicroLogix lineup. First, hardware setup. For a serial setup, use either the V9's D-Sub CN1 serial port or the RJ45 style MJ1 and MJ2 serial ports on the HMI. In both cases, Allen Bradley's serial cable is needed. The CN1 port is not available on 6 and 7 inch V9 models. For the CN1 port, a gender changer may be required. In the case of the MJ1 and MJ2 ports, a breakout board and twisted copper pair cable should be used. Follow wire diagram 3-M2 as noted in the connection manual. For Ethernet, simply connect the MicroLogix and HMI to the same network. Make sure that the PLC and HMI are in the same network range, 192.168.1.xxx, for instance. Second, software setup. To make a V9 application, the vSoft 6 configuration software is required. Hardware can be added while creating a new application or after screen creation. In this case, we'll be adding a PLC when we create the new application. Click on the New button and select the model of HMI you are using. We are using the V910 Star IW. The rest can remain on the default. Now, we configure the PLC we are going to connect to. If you are using a serial connection, select the MicroLogix driver and then the port you are using. If you are using Ethernet, then select the MicroLogix Ethernet TCP slash IP driver and the correct LAN port. Click Finish. Now, the hardware setting window will appear. It will be configured with the default settings for the driver. In the case of Ethernet, the IP address for the PLC must be set. To do that, click on the blue Setting next to the PLC table under Target Settings and enter the IP address. A name is not required, but recommended. The TCP port for all the Allen Bradley PLCs is 44818, so you won't need to change that. Be sure the Connect To option is pointed towards the IP you have selected. You are all set configuring the PLC connection setting, so you can close the hardware setting window. 3. Switches and lamps with PLC addresses. Now that we have the PLC set up, we can address the memory in the PLC. Make sure that the memory you are going to access is configured on the PLC, or you will get a PLC received code 1000 on the HMI. Place a switch part and a lamp on the screen, and then double-click the switch. It will open a configuration screen. We now go to the output device and check off output setting. Set the device to PLC1. Be sure to have the correct number of zeros as they are placeholders. Now click Finish, and then double-click the lamp device that you had placed. Go to the Style menu, and set the address the same as you did with the switch. We will be using Ethernet to download to the HMI, but serial and USB transfer is available for the entire V9 series. Go to Transfer and Download and double check your communication settings. Click the PC to HMI Transfer button. Using the VNC function, we can see the HMI when transferring to it and control it when it is running. Thank you for watching this Fuji Electric Monotouch HMI tutorial. If you have any questions, please email or call for technical support. Thank you.